this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update WordPress plugins without losing customizations. This is part of my WordPress skills playlist on this channel. If you want to check that out, there's a link in the description down below. If you have any questions or comments for this video, leave those down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. When updates are available, you will see them inside your WordPress dashboard. So when you're logged in, you'll see plugins over here. In my case, there's a number five inside that red circle. And that means there are five plugins that have updates available. When you click on plugins, you'll see your plugins list right here. And if you click on the updates available filter, it will show you only the plugins that have updates available. And these plugins have a lot of settings associated with them. And when you update the plugin, it will preserve your settings. So you don't have to worry about updating it. If you are truly concerned about it messing with your plugin settings, you can back up your site first and then do the update. I'll link to the tutorial in the card up above and the description down below to show you how to back up your site before you do an update if you want to do that. But these days, in nearly every case I've seen, plugin updates don't mess with the settings. There are times when plugins like WooCommerce and even now Elementor will make changes to the database when they're updated, and then you'll see a warning about that. And they'll say back up your site first before you update this plugin because there's going to be changes in the database. The other 99.9% .9 of plugin updates just change the files of the plugin on your server. They don't change the actual database entries. The database is where the settings are stored. They're just updating the files that the plugin uses on the server. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. And when you're on this update page, all you have to do is click this box, select bulk actions and update and click apply. And in this case, I have a plugin installed WP Vivid Backup, which is now going to back up all the old versions of the plugin before the update is made. So we can revert back to the old ones if you want. This is actually part of the tutorial that I've linked to for backing up your site. So if you want to check out how that works, watch the tutorial that I linked to. Now that the plugins are all backed up, it will go ahead and update each one one by one. And they're all done. First, we enable maintenance mode, update all the plugins, disable maintenance mode, and everything's updated. We see the number five in the circle is gone. And you can go and check. You can look at the plugin settings before and after and they will not have changed. If this is not true for a plugin that you've updated, let me know in the comments down below so we can see why it's happening. But when that does happen, your best bet is to have a backup first. So if you wanna be as safe as possible, back up your site first, then do plugin updates, make sure there are no changes to the actual plugin settings. And if there's minor changes, just change them to what they're supposed to be. If there's major changes and things are broken, then you revert back to your backup. But that is a pretty rare case these days. Next, check out the WordPress skills playlist right here where I can almost guarantee you're going to learn something new if you check that out. So go check that out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.